Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Now, this YouTube channel basically talks about everything about Facebook ads, Instagram ads, marketing, advertising. Generally, we discuss everything and anything that has to do with growing your business using paid ads, right? So if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome to my YouTube channel and please give me subscribe and give a thumbs up to any of my videos that you like. And also leave a comment and let me know where exactly you're watching my video from. All right. So what we want to discuss in this video is we want to look at strategies for targeting that will really help you. I'm talking real strategies that will give you the results that you want. Right. I mean, who wants to spend money and not get results from their ads? Everybody wants to run ads and actually get results from their ads. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how you can get results with your ads i'm going to show you exactly how you can target the right people and how you can show up in the faces of people that actually care the people that actually care about your products your services they want to buy they are interested because that's more like what you should be doing you should be targeting these people now i'm going to be focusing this on the ads manager platform so if you don't use the ad ads manager platform you might not um you might not be able to do this but if you already know about it you already know how to use the ads manager platform then good you can enjoy this video right now we're going to be breaking this down into three different targeting options i'm going to explain these targeting options and then i'll just try to show some things um that you should know all right so let's dive in now the first thing that we want to talk about or the first type of targeting i want you to focus on or i would love you to focus on is demographic right demographic basically talks about demograph talks about location gender age range now this is a very great strategy to target people especially when you want to like when you know the people that you should be reaching out to you know their age range you know their gender you know their location it makes a lot of sense when you target these people with your ads it makes a lot of sense so what you just do is to fix in the age range the gender and the location for these people that you're trying to reach out to i mean demographics is awesome you can also use it on instagram funny enough so it's a great option that you can make use of so if you have not been, been using them you can actually use them now using the demographic targeting alone is what is called wide audiences they are called wide wide audiences now i should also mention to you that when you are targeting using the demographic option what you're doing is that you're reaching out to cold leads what do i mean by cold leads cold leads are people who do not know you people who are probably seeing your ad for the first time they're probably seeing your business or your products for the very first time and you should understand that trying to sell to these people sometimes can have a, a bit of friction because they do not really know you and they're probably meeting you for the very first time so what you want to do is to be consistent with your ad and what you want to do is what I'm going to also mention in the second um, type of audience or in the third type of audience rather. Now, the second type of audience is called the psychographic. Now, psychographic majorly talks about the uh, interest and the behavior, right? So what, I mean, the people you're trying to reach out to, the people you're trying to sell to, what are they interested in? What do they have interest in? right i mean if you want to catch a monkey you behave like a monkey or you give the monkey banana i mean it's that simple so giving the monkey banana is actually targeting people based on what they like because you know the monkey likes banana and then you try to stretch out banana to the monkey now you stretching out banana to the monkey in the case of your advert is you actually targeting people based on what they like so for example if i sell uh fashion items I want to be targeting people who are interested in fashion accessories, ladies' dresses, people who are interested in formal wear, people who are interested in clothing, you know. So these are some of the things you need to target based on what people are interested in. So the question is, what are the people who people who should buy from you? What are they interested in, right? So when you can have a short list of these interests, by the time we get into our laptop, I'm going to show you exactly how you can make those searches and the things that you can do, all right? Now, that's... um interest now the other one is behavior what are their behaviors right what are the behaviors um let's go back to the example of the monkey the monkey likes to jump on trees that's the monkey's behavior you can target the monkey based on behavior right so you can also target people with your products and your services based off their behavior 
how are they being how do they behave online is it i mean is it basically because of the type of phone they use or is it because of the type of shopping the type of travel they like i mean there are different behaviors that you can target online so check look out for the behavior that fits into the people that you're trying to reach now if you remember we've talked about two different type of targeting we've talked about the demographic we're talking about the psychographic right the other type of targeting is called the custom targeting now this custom targeting i might not be able to explain a whole lot about it right now in this video why because i have a training that is coming up on saturday if you're watching this video today or if you're watching this video anytime saturday the 13th may there's going to be a training on how to create these audiences i just mentioned the custom audience now the custom audience is a compilation of people who are regarded as your hot leads or your warm leads right your custom audience are your warm leads now your warm leads are people who already know you they like you they trust you they already buy from you they are your custom audiences so the custom audience is a compilation of these people they already follow your instagram page they already follow they already like your post they already save your post save your ad watch your videos you know follow your facebook page so you can actually create an audience out of these people but it can only work if you already have this data that can be curated by instagram or by facebook for you okay so you must already have that data available right so that's exactly what the custom audience is about okay so there's also the lookalike audience now the lookalike audience is like a like um i mean when they say something is a lookalike that thing is a twin it has the same traits it has the same so the lookalike audience basically has the same trait as the custom audience, has the same features, the same uh, gender, location, age range, all those things. They look like the custom audience, right? But they're not the same, but they look like custom audience. So what um, that what that does is that gives you another option to reach out to people who would also work. So the custom audience and the lookalike audience are my favorite type of audiences, but I will be showing you that. So let me just show you the application of the things that were mentioned. Right, I'm sure you can see my screen um, right now. If you um, if you go to create a new ad, right? Let's just create um, let's just create a new ad, and then we'll just click continue. Then now, what we we'll what we're going to do is come to the ad ad set, and then under the ad set, I'm going to show you a few things that we can do under the ad set, right? So um, let's just come here where it says now the demographic, like I said is using um using location gender and age range right now location you can see here there are different options from the location there's people living in or recently in a location people living in a location there's people recently in a location there's people traveling in a location regardless i mean you can choose any one from the options and choose the one that would actually give you the result so i usually would use people living in a location because that works best for me right and then i pick the locations that i want for this ad so let's say i want just lagos for this ad now what i also do is to pick the age range so some people will say use 18 to 65 no you don't want to do that you want to be you want to be sure on the on the people that you know that would give you the highest number of patronage that your business needs or the highest number of people who you feel that your business should, should attract i don't know if you get what i'm trying to say so i'm not i mean i sell ad services and i sell page management services and all those other things so i'm not going to be running my ads to 18 year olds rather i'll be running my ads to 25 26 year olds and not 65 year olds but i'll be running it to about 45 year olds right so that's basically because of my own business so do what what works for your own business i target majorly women now this is the demographic targeting that i just did and i can actually run my ad this way because you can see it here that my estimated audience is about 2.3 million to about 2.7 million so i can run my ads like this it will still give me results that's what a lot of people don't know it's not even most that you have to use interest targeting a lot of people don't know this and i'm telling you now you can actually run your ads this way it's called wide targeting right so um but let's talk about the interest now if i'm going to use the interest or the behavior all i'm going to do is to just type in based off what i do so i work with um a lot of business owners so i'm going to do business to business right people that are interested in now i can say business page admins i can also say um business to business right business to business you can see there 
No, I can, instead of trying to think, I could just click suggestions and I'll see options. You can see small business owner is a behavior. You can see that small business owner, it's actually a behavior. So um, small business owners, okay? So there are other options for me here. There's entrepreneurship, there's small business, quite a lot of other things. So I just select the ones that I, I want to use, right? So once I'm done, that is my interest or my um, behavior targeting, right? Which is the, psych the psychographic, right? So you can see that what it gives us. So you can also use this include i mean you can just also include this with your demographic if you want to use the interest or the behavior you can also do this and then you run your ad i hope you've gained something if you have watched this video thus far please i want you to leave me a thumbs up i want you to put a comment let me know subscribe turn on the notification bell if you have not done so and let me know the videos that you want me to create next let just let me know the topics you want me to cover next thank you so much and i'll see you in another video